Hi, Superspruce here, back on our Answer Adventures New Game Minus 4 video, episode 27, and you can see I have exactly 100 affinity points. It's enough to get these two upgrades here. You start with the 5th dimension unlocked, and 4 tick speed boosts, and you unlock, you start with the 6th dimension unlocked, and 8 tick speed boosts. This should really speed up the infinity runs. Right now they're taking like about 6 minutes and 25 seconds or something, but this should be able to drastically speed them up, especially at the beginning, just because I now whenever I I do like a Tixie boost, I have to get two less I get two less dimension boosts. And that's like ev that's every time. Or even with a time dimension boost. So that means it probably saves a quarter of a second every single time I have to do that time dimension boost and Tixie boost. And that's probably gonna save maybe twenty to thirty seconds. And then starting with eight Tixie boosts is going to speed up the early part of runs probably another 20 to 30 seconds so even in just like this run it's gonna save a lot of time and I want to actually try a run holding down the D key and a run not holding down like a D key okay so I've done these runs without the D key it was 5 minutes and 26 seconds with the D key it was only 3 minutes and 35 seconds this allows this upgrade to activate once every 36 minutes so that's going to be about maybe 40 per day, and actually that's not all that much, but if I can just get like one infinity point every five minutes, if you combine the two, that's going to be really good, because that means I'll be getting 12 infinity points per hour, and for 24 hours, that is about half of both of these upgrades. So if I can just get both of these upgrades, and then I can get the first two infinity point multipliers, and then the third, that will be really good because the plan is I want to be able to make it to to break infinity and this you need to get the automated big crunch interval to 0 0.1 seconds to be able to break infinity and I need essentially I'm not exactly sure how many infinity points it is but I know it's a lot like thousands of infinity points to get this to 0 0.1 seconds all the others are galaxy points so I don't really need to worry about them also I think their bulk purchase is high enough that at least at this point, um, they don't need to be upgraded. Like, they, it would do nothing if they were upgraded. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so it's been a long time. I have 900 infinity points. It's enough to get both of these upgrades. You can see what my past infinities are. It's usually just over five minutes. So if I get these upgrades, this is huge. Because not only, well, I, I can start with a galaxy in 8th dimensions and 16 tick speed boosts. I can also get two of these upgrades because yeah, this is repeatable. So I'm going to be getting four times the infinity points as usual, which means maybe it's time to change up the strat a little bit. I'm not exactly sure, but starting with 16 tick speed boosts probably means that I don't need to buy time dimension boosts until four galaxies. Maybe I I. I I'm going to try that and see if it's going to be any faster. Also, with 200 spare infinity points, these like this multiplier and this multiplier is going to be higher than ever, which means I could try to get away with only 140, or with tick speed boosts only at 140. So, because I think I'll still be able to reach infinity, and that will, that will mean I don't need to do obnoxious... Tick speed boost resets, or I mean, I'll still need to do two of them. I mean, maybe I can even try 130 and just see how it goes. Because if I if I don't have to do any of those tick speed boost resets, that would really speed up the infinity. So let's see. Can I reach infinity from here? Is it possible? Let's see here. Uh, no, not not quite. But it's just it's just doing all these time dimension boosts that I probably don't need. Um, yeah, I can, I can reach it. So this means that, okay, let's see if I can get the four galaxies with no time dimension boosts. I can't. I mean, I guess I can actually. It's, it's worth it probably to wait because I don't, I don't, eh, I'm not sure. It's probably about the same amount of time, um, between doing that and like having a time dimension boost. But the infinities are going to be a lot faster because it took four minutes to get four infinity points last time. Now it's only like the the up. I only got those upgrades halfway 
into the infinity. It's not worth it to start upgrading the big crunch interval yet, but it may be eventually. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this um, let this play out and see how fast I can reach infinity while where there's no M holding, and then I'll just do a, a M holding run and see where I end up. Okay, so with no M holding, it took a little under three minutes, and with M holding, it took about half that. One minute in 28 seconds. So that's going to really start boosting my infinity points per minute. Like, it, lo it looks like I'm going to be able to reach at least one infinity point per minute if I'm just being active. And here, it's going to be four every 15 minutes, or 16 per hour. That actually isn't all that great. It looks like I, I will be able to reach E3 infinity points easily, but I may have to rely on some achievements if I want to get any farther, because, I mean, I guess, it's like, some of these are kind of bad rewards, or at least just not great. The achievement roll will give me a 5 times multiplier to all dimensions, which I'm not going to really do all that much. I'm... And I'm, I really just don't think it's worth the trouble to get these achievements. There's also this, which will help a little bit, but I feel like most of the time, it's just the automation being dumb. I mean, I guess I could, if I could manually automate it, I could do it even faster. And actually, I'm, I'm going to try that. I have all the, the auto buyers going. What if I just disable them and try to see how fast I can, I can infinity... Like, by, like, holding D. Not just, like, holding M. But, like, holding D and, I guess, also... There's, there's no hockey for tick speed boosts, though. So, it's just weird. Um, like... And then, and then sometimes you'll encounter, like, tick speed boosts like that. And then you need to redo your time dimension boosts. I will, I will try to do a manually fast infinity, though. Because I, I do think it's worth it to try to go for that. So, okay, here here we go. Um, so just hold M down. Oh, no, to get, get galaxies. Um, just get dimension boosts. And I'm just going to do it the same way as the automation here. Now I can get dimension boosts, but also time dimension boosts. Just go up to 12 because that's how many dimension boosts I have. Now I can probably safely go up to 14. Yep, and here's another galaxy, 14, um, I'm probably, I'm probably getting a 14 here, dimension boost, then go up to 16, and, yep, that's safe, and I, now all I need is 131 eighth dimensions, which is this, here we go, 16 galaxies, get this, get tixie boosts, get, um, like, 16 time dimension boosts, don't get too many, because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to do that. That's what I was trying to avoid, but whatever. I'll just deal with it and get up to 17 and then just rely on Dimension Boost and then Big Crunch. So that was definitely fast. One minute and two seconds. That makes me want to go for this achievement, but I guess it's not all that worth it because its reward is minimal for what I'm actually going for. So I'm just going to... Unleash the automation again. Of course, I don't need the automatic galactic sacrifice. And yeah, this means that this will be for every like 10 and a half minutes, which means I'll be getting about 22 infinity points per hour. So that's a little better. Still going to take a couple of days, or probably a day, to reach this. And I mean, not exactly sure how close I am to break infinity. Break in how it. Oh, to, to reach break infinity, I need. 0.1 seconds here and you can see with my automation that this is 60 seconds and it is a 40 percent smaller interval each time so i'm going to actually do a calculation like uh, this needs to be 600 times smaller and it doubles every time i just know that so i'm just gonna find out this cost okay after doing some quick math i have found out that I need about 8,192 infinity points to get this to 0 0.1, which means this is just going to be a grind. I mean, I'm going to get this, this will double my infinity points per minute, but then the this offline, I'll be getting maybe 
45 infinity points per hour here, which translates to only, what is that, 90, 180, 360, uh, 1,080. So that's like a week if I just rely on this, but if I'm on my computer more, I can probably wait like four days and I'll be able to reach break infinity. And that's after getting this upgrade. So I feel like it will be... I'm just, I'm just going to grind it out. And next episode, I will reach break infinity and do all the stuff with that. I will achievement hunt later because right now it's kind of useless to achievement hunt. Break infinity will b bring new things to the game that will actually make like just raw production more important. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.